The country clubs and the cocktail parties are not real America. The millionaires and billionaires are the exception to the rule. And the cost of everything in their life is going through the roof. This was my dream, and, you know, I felt betrayed by the very people who helped me get my house. Well, Bill Poole is a shame. He's shameful. The lenders had started to ease their lending standards by early 2004. We have Armageddon. I wouldn't try to cause it. We, get, we have Armageddon. It seems we never learn that things that are too good to be true are. They took down Saddam Hussein's government, then what are you going to put in its place? We all are witness to the 
have thousands of people. We have thousands of people losing yes. their homes right now. 14 million people took a mortgage in the last three years. Seven million of them took teaser rates or took piggyback rates. Mm -hmm. They will lose their homes. This is crazy. Yeah. Alan Greenspan told everyone to take a teaser rate and then raised the rate 17 times. Uh, Mr. Greenspan, I have long been concerned that you are way out of touch with the needs of the middle class and working families of our country that you see your major function in your position as the need to represent the wealthy and large corporations. And I must tell you that your testimony today only cons confirms all of my suspicions. The country clubs and the cocktail parties are not real America. The millionaires and billionaires are the exception to the rule. You talk about an improving economy while we have lost three million private sector jobs in the last two years, long-term unemployment has more than tripled. Unemployment is higher than it has been since 1994. We have a $4 trillion national debt. 1.4 million Americans have lost their health insurance. Millions of seniors can't afford prescription drugs. Middle-class families can't send their kids to college because they don't have the money to do that. Bankruptcy, bankruptcy cases have increased by a record-breaking 23 percent. Business investment is at its lowest level in more than 50 years. CEOs make more than 500 times of what their workers make. The middle class is shrinking. We have the greatest gap between the rich and the poor of any industrialized nation. And this is an economy that is improving and giving huge tax breaks to billionaires. But today you reached a new low, I think, by suggesting that manufacturing in America doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the product is produced. We lost two million manufacturing jobs in the last two years alone, 10% of our workforce. Walmart has replaced General Motors as the major employer in America, paying people starvation wages rather than living wages, and all of that does not matter to you, doesn't matter. You have told the American people that you support a trade policy which is selling them out, only working for the CEOs who can take our plants to China, Mexico, and India. Do you give one whit of concern to the middle class and working families of this country? That's my question.